When I was in school, and if you've got kids in school right now, whoever's listening, your kids are being taught that neurons, whatever neurons you have in your brain, you have when you come into this world, that it's a fixed number, and every time you drink a glass of wine or drink a beer, you're gonna lose some. <laughs> That's the leverage of parents, you know, for all time. Yeah. Now, now we know that we continue to produce new neurons from a very specific part of our brain until the last breath that we mm. take on this earth. We are constantly producing new neurons and there are epigenetic factors, lifestyle factors that we can choose to uh, like diet, like exercise, like breath, like focus, like relieving of stress and things like that uh, and specific nutrients uh, and supplements that will support that process. Uh, stem cells, a new class, we were told when I was in school that by the time you reach my age, your stem cells are so sparse that they're probably not gonna help you very much. And now we know there is an entire new class of stem cells. Uh, some of them, some people are calling them Genesis stem cells that are with us until our last breath with a full complement they can become, they can actually become other stem cells. Wherever we need those, it's not that they aren't there, we, we access them in a different way. And as we learn it through epigenetic factors, and as we learn to access those stem cells, it changes the way we think about healing, regeneration, rejuvenation, and longevity. So the arrogance of science thinking they already know everything there is to know is giving way to new discoveries that are changing our story and empowering us with a very, very different way of thinking about ourselves. And it's all happening now when the world is changing and we need this new story.